Hello my soccer universe. It is late on Thursday evening, but I decided it might be a good time to look back at the Bundesliga round so that I make a shorter video um, for the next round and I have the time. At the same time I'm watching how Barcelona is embarrassing themselves against Coronea, who already had eliminated Atletico Madrid. So good timing. Also, I'm not sure if you've realized the little gallery that I've down there of players, the remaining white spots I got today, the, some more pictures that I will put up there, so excited about that one too. But let's talk Bundesliga. The main thing I can take from this round is that it's halftime. We have halftime in January already, uh, which is rather unusual, but unusual times call for unusual <laughs> schedules so uh, that's the first thing uh second headline is that dortmund keeps falling but they lose in a really good game uh, against leverkusen uh bayern edges out another victory to confirm for spot uh, for spot which they already had and uh leipzig gets past the union giant and lastly, since I'm very current, current getting a rather important win at Schalke with a humongous result um, towards the bottom of the table. Let's look at the games where I saw mostly uh, only highlights. I actually this week, uh, mid, mid, maybe the guy never managed to watch anything, just too much to do. So yeah. Uh, Gladbach Bremen is the first game where I think it was mostly Gladbach that had control of the game, but um, you gotta give it to Bremen late on. They could have gotten the equalizer. Elvede gets the goal. Overall deserved win for Gladbach, a win that they needed to kind of stay in touch with potentially Champions League spots, as, as we will see. Uh, still rather uncertain, but uh, a win they get. Then, as I said already, Bayer Leverkusen against Dortmund, a highly entertaining game that was uh, largely dominated by Leverkusen um, with Bailey and Diaby, Diaby especially in the fir fir first half, running riot and uh, getting an er early goal in the first half. I do regret not seeing that one in the second half. Dortmund comes back into the game, they get the equalizer, Julian Brandt, who had played for Leverkusen not too long ago, and it seems all settled for probably deserved tie. But then Diaby sets up Wirtz, uh, who with a nice calling shot gives Leverkusen a win um, and puts them into a good position to solidify Champions League spot and Dortmund in a whole heap of trouble. Uh, the coaching change, not surprising, it didn't change much. Uh, we know that already. Um, Hoffenheim completely destroys Hertha. Hertha in serious crisis. Wolfsburg gets an easy win at Mainz. I mean, Mainz is fighting hard, but Wolfsburg has just more uh, quality. Schalke against Köln. First half belonged to Köln and they had uh, deservedly through Chichos. And I have to say, those are two teams that I really like and I really hope that I'm not losing both of these uh, this season. I mean, it's already hard enough to lose Schalke. Uh, I really don't want to lose Köln as well. Um, so, I don't see Schalke making it, honestly, uh, so I was hoping Kern got does it. But in the second half, uh, Kern, everything that they had going for themselves was gone and it was really Schalke who was pushing for an equalizer, which they duly got through Matthew Hoppe again. I mean, this guy has been scoring the last three games and uh, probably they should have gotten a win. Um, but I think the draw reflected overall the games and then in stoppage time uh, it is Thielmann after a Rechbeschei assist that gets the winner for Köln. It was, must have been a dagger in the heart, heart of Schalke who got Klaas Jan Hünteler back at the moment. Uh, one highlight I couldn't see was Bielefeld against Stuttgart but this is a uh, rather impressive 3-0 win for Bielefeld of the two promoted teams uh, and Bielefeld also kind of distanced themselves from the relegation zone with that. Bayern against Augsburg was one weird game. Uh, again, I mean, uh, Bayern gets an early penalty that Lewandowski converts, then is pushing, probably should have made a second or a third goal. And then in the second half, uh, all of a sudden, they're not playing anymore. Weird, really, really weird. And uh, Augsburg took a while to realize that, but then um, in, the, in the last half an hour, they really tried to push forward and they get even penalty through Finn Bogason, who misses, uh, saved by Manuel Neuer. And yeah, I actually think 
one of the key elements in that switch I thought was uh, Gnabry and Lewandowski coming off in the 67th minute. Yes, he probably wanted to do some, some, something nice, but um, that I think gave Augsburg a little bit hope. Just a small explanation, it's not, well, it must not be. Probably the most entertaining game outside of Leverkusen Dortmund was Freiburg against Frankfurt. Two teams that were on a good run actually, and Younes gives uh, Frankfurt a sixth minute the lead, but uh, Freiburg is not to be deterred. Uh, Cloud themselves back in the game, get the equalizer through Solai. Niels Peterson in the second half gives them um, the lead. And then Luka Jovic comes on and uh, he is basically involved in one of the crazier on goals where Schlotterbeck is for Freiburg is right there to clear it. He just gets the ball between the legs and it goes over the line. Uh, rather funny uh, equalizer. I mean, not funny for, 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 for the player, but if you see, it's a little bit slapstick and it ends 2-2. And Leipzig Union was also one of those games uh, that looked in interesting because Union is doing so well and I've talked a little bit too little about them, I admit, or I will try to do better in the second half there of the season. But it has to be clearly said that Leipzig was the better team overall. They just had a hard time getting the ball behind the line. After that all my assists, uh, Emil Forsberg game manages that and gives Leipzig a 1-0 win. With these results, the half a point of the season sees Bayern four points clear of Leipzig and you really have to wonder, this is my computer, I hate that sound, I hate that sound, <laughs> this is all this, uh, I don't know why. Uh, you really wonder, even with them displaying so much frailties, can they actually turn it around? Uh, can anyone catch them? No, I don't think so. With all all afraid, I think Bayern looks really much better with 85% winning a championship. I think that Luke looks around. Leipzig is the top challenger. There's no, nothing about it. Leipzig in the head-to-head -head can hurt Bayern. I thought they were better in Munich. They probably should have uh, gotten a win there. Leipzig is the one challenger. But they're also too inconsistent. At the moment, it's two draws. Uh, that makes a difference there. Leverkusen and Leverkusen looks safeish for a Champions League, Dortmund probably as well if they can get, get it together, but they see already Wolfsburg, Union and Gladbach are right in touch there. So, uh, and potentially even Frankfurt. I think that uh, for the last Champions League spot, there are about five teams that realistically could challenge for, for that one, given that Bayern, Leipzig and Leverkusen might be in there. Um, Midfield is then rather thin and then you already see relegation zone. I think it's pretty clear who is getting rele relegated there with Mainz and Schalke. And it's basically the uh, relegation spot that is fought in that moment. Curran has it. Bielefeld could get in there. I actually think that Hertha is not out of it at all. Uh, they are really in danger of being pulled in because they are in a really, really bad spot. Um, it's also a good time to, you know, adjust the standings. Yes, we don't need to adjust, but you see at least the average uh, points per game with 2.3 for Bayern. This is a good value at the moment in Europe. Um, and they're actually a little bit slightly ahead with the 2.3 points on average. They will project to finish with 78 points. Uh, we will see this expected table in a little bit where we would expect that 76 points they would get from my simulations. The most interesting is again the difference bar to me. Uh, I mean, there are other things that you could look at uh, who has, if you add uh, average goals for and goal, goals against, I think Bayern comes out as, as a team to watch with the most goals. But it, there's a, on top many green bars, but there's one clear red bar, and this is Dortmund. Dortmund is absolutely uh, the disappointment of the season. Uh, Hoffenheim sim similarly, and I'm surprised that uh, Mainz is actually so negative. But you know, uh, they're a hard fighting team that just don't really get the results. Speaking of the expected table, and you see also the green shading, I mean, all the way to the left is number one spot, all the way to the right is the last spot. Uh, in relegation, I said the, the fixed relegation uh, spots are pretty much sealed for Mainz and Schalke, with Schalke being our last place team. Uh, we also see that the top two, I mean, Bayern looks very firm, and Leipzig, even with the overlap, looks very firm in second place. Um, 
if you see by Lever Leverkusen has kind of an average of 63 or even median of 63 points, which is just above the 5% uh, percent of uh, Leipzig. So meaning there is a little bit overlap there, but it's not much. It's the Bayern and Leipzig's league. And then Leverkusen and Dortmund, due to the rating for Dortmund, it doesn't look as tight. Uh, and it's, as I said, Wolfsburg, Gladbach, and potentially Union that fight for the remaining re European spots. At fr starting with Freiburg, I think we're in the midfield. And I would say starting with Augsburg, although I think Hertha and Werder are not out, out of it. We look to talk about relegation for now. Let's see how it will really pan, pan out. It would be very interesting. I, I'm keeping all, all this and let's see where this will go. We have a really interesting round on the weekend. I talk a little bit of, uh, in the first um, video, but Gladbach Dortmund kick it off. Is a really really good game the Borussia Dor Derby. Um, there are other interesting. I think Freiburg Stuttgart. That is a local derby that I'm interested in. Leipzig usually scores lots of goals against Mainz, so I'm curious about that. Bayern scored a lot of goals against Schalke, so let's see what Schalke can do. Um, and yeah, I think though uh, Leverkusen was was pretty bad. I forgot. This is probably the second best game on the schedule. We should not forget about my home country, Austria, who is also now finally fully back. We have also tomorrow Rapid Sturm. Pretty big matchup uh, that already has implications for um, the European spots, although it's still more qualification, you know, points get halved after the, reg the regular season. Salzburg should get a win at Altach and Lask. Um, Against is heavily favored against Tirol, but they have to play now in the small stadium since the old stadium is getting demolished. So yeah, that's it for me from the Bundesliga main, mainly. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, we'll see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.